Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Saturday morning and I'm really, I've been really looking forward to this weekend. It's gonna be pretty chill. We have a, a couple scattered plans here and there, but mostly just gonna be chill family time. We're gonna get the garden started, which I'm very excited about. I'm getting my day started, uh, just cracked to Celsius because I am pretty sleepy. I'm only a couple sips in and I already feel myself perking up, which is good because I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna do a workout. Nice way to start my Saturday. And it's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining when I close my eyes. Ugh, I just feel so good, so good. I'm so glad I came and worked out. Also, um, you guys, I switched gyms. I had talked about this a little bit in a previous vlog, but my old gym, I just wasn't feeling very comfortable there. It was a very young gym and very like, gym bro centric and also really crowded so i just i found that i i wasn't looking forward to going there and it was actually when i came back from nashville last weekend i was there for a bachelorette party and i came home and i just felt kind of icky i felt i had that like puffy i've been traveling and drinking a lot of alcohol feeling <laughs> so i came home and i was like okay i want to go to the gym but i I just was really, really dragging my feet to go. Cause I didn't really like being there at that gym. So I was like, okay, maybe, maybe it's time. I went and did a trial at this gym and I just loved it. So I switched over and I've been so happy. I've been working out so much more. I feel so much more comfortable there. It's a much older demographic and also just like a lot more women in general. And it's so much less crowded. Like the, I don't have to like wait for machines anymore, which can we talk about how that's just like the most awkward thing in the world. Like I feel like a vulture just waiting. So I usually won't even do that if like, if the machine's taken, I'm just, I'm moving on. Cause like if I'm working out and someone else is waiting for the machine, I like, I feel awkward. I'm like, okay, I gotta speed this up. Someone, someone else wants to use this. And here I feel like anything I wanna do, it's usually open. Even the showers are less crowded here. So I'm actually like showering at the gym after my workouts, which is really nice because then when I come home, I'm like fully ready to just jump right, right in with Grace. Instead of being like, hey, I'm back, but <laughs> I need to shower and get ready. And I'm just already ready to go. And I feel so good and I feel so comfortable there. And I am so glad that I switched. And even though it's more expensive, I'm going a lot more. So I feel like the cost per use is not better, but not, it's not as bad. Anyways, that is it for uh, my little post gym ramble. I'm gonna head home and uh, just excited to hang out with Steven and Grace and the dogs. I feel so good today. Let's go Gracie. Yeah! We are hanging outside and it's, it's a little rainy. It's not like actively raining right now, but it was raining this morning and it wasn't supposed to rain today. So that's why I was thinking it would be a good day to start the garden, but now I'm not sure because we still need to add like fertilizer to the soil in the raised beds and till it and mix it all up. And I don't know if that's something that's good to do in the rain, so I need to look into it. But if we don't do that today, maybe it'll dry out by tomorrow. And today at the very least, we can go get our seeds and we can do like the, the starter seeds seeds uh, that we're gonna start indoors. We're building little houses with the connect tiles for Grace's figurines. The elephant, should we build a house for him next? Yeah. Okay, put him inside. <laughs> yeah, that's what an elephant says. We're at Lowe's. We're getting our seeds and stuff for the garden. I'm so, so excited. I feel like last year, my my expectations were low. This was all very new to me and it, it actually worked out pretty well. So now I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited to see how everything shakes out this year. And this is where it all begins. Jalapenos. Yeah, we're gonna need some zucchini seeds. You wanna hand one to mama? I'll put it, or you can put it in the cart if you want. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we only need one though. Very nice. Okay, let's put those ones back because we only need one. I'm gonna put those ones in the cart too. Very nice. Okay, so here are the seeds that we're getting. So we're doing cilantro and basil. We're doing some flowers this year. Last year, we just did the sunflowers. This year, we're adding marigolds and cosmos. And then for vegetables, we're gonna start with cherry tomatoes, zucchini, bell peppers, and jalapeno peppers. I... I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna do indoor seed starting for the bell peppers, the hot peppers, and the tomatoes. Do you wanna put these ones in the cart? Woo! 
So we're bringing back a couple of the successful crops we had last year. The bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, and zucchini. Although the bell peppers weren't that successful, we only had a couple. But I think I learned a lot from that. Grace is ready to move on. <laughs> you ready to go out to the garden section? And then also trying some new things like the hot peppers and uh, the herbs and flowers. And I'm gonna experiment more with co-planting this year to keep pests away and uh, to just help the the general health of my plants. I'm very excited. Oh my goodness, what did you find? Should that be the Gracie addition to our garden this year? Please. You'd like to get it? <laughs> what do you think, hon? Yeah. Should we get it, put it in the garden? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it'll, it'll scare the hornworms away. <laughs> Got our potting soil for our seed starting. And then we're just gonna kind of be revitalizing our soil in the raised beds, mixing it up, adding fertilizer, all that stuff, but we don't actually need any additional soil for that. So I think that's everything. I think we're ready to go. I think we're gonna have a great garden this year, Grace. Yeah. All right, we're back home. Grace is gonna be going down for a nap in a little bit here. So I'm gonna make us a quick lunch before that. We've got some leftover quinoa and veggies in the fridge. We got some fruit. I might throw together a couple PB&Js. Variety. <laughs> All right, lunch is served. We've got Grace, we've got Steven, we've got me. Actually, gotta add the chili crisps to mine. There we go. Now lunch is served. Okay. So I've been out here uh, just cleaning up the garden a little bit, prepping the raised beds, had some weeds that need to be cleared. Uh, I also wanted to make sure that any of the remnants from the previous root systems were like totally gone. And now I'm realizing, I think we actually do, I need to go back to Lowe's <laughs> because we do need one more bag of, a uh, big bag of soil for the raised beds. The soil has settled in a lot. So there's like a lot of extra room now. And then also I think in just like clearing the weeds and the roots some of some of the dirt get goes with it and i want to make sure that these are like nice and full before we plant so i'm gonna go get soil but other than that it's looking pretty good also this year we're gonna be doubling the size of the garden we're gonna add two more raised beds right here we already ordered them they're the exact same ones as before so it'll all look nice and uniform but uh we're not gonna be doing that for probably like a month or two but that'll give us more room for transferring the seedlings in like a month or two when those are ready and i think then i'm also gonna add in another crop maybe cantaloupe maybe watermelon also contemplating sweet potato maybe Maybe a little bit of all three, I don't know. <laughs> but that's gonna be like our kind of garden expansion. That's gonna be like round two. This weekend, round one, just getting things started in our existing beds and uh, the seed starting too. But off to Lowe's. <laughs> oh, and then we also have our strawberries, which are still looking nice and good, not producing anything right now since it's winter, but pretty soon we'll have delicious strawberries. And hopefully uh, this space will be looking very different too. And Grace is napping, so this is like the perfect time for me to run off and do this. And then when she's up, we can plant together. Okay, I actually came to Target because it's a little closer and all I need is soil when I know they have that here. I'm gonna get two of these. And I think that'll be good. Perfect. If I wasn't so excited to get back home and get back to gardening, I'd hang at Target for a little while. It's always fun to just walk around Target by yourself. And I rarely come here by myself anymore. <laughs> but like I said, excited to go back and garden. So back home we go. I think I could have even gone for a third bag, but this is pretty good. All right, I'm gonna add in the fertilizer. I'm gonna mix it all together. This is just so fun. You know what I'm realizing? I liked playing Stardew Valley so much, I decided just to play it in my real life. <laughs> now, obviously, fertilizer with kids and pets, gotta be careful. Luckily, uh, our garden is on the side of the house that has the pool. So this whole area is gated off. I feel like I'm getting to that part in Stardew Valley where my character starts to sweat and the little energy bar goes to red. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm gonna go inside, get a drink of water, chill for a little bit, and uh, then when Grace wakes up, we can start on this planting. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and actually plot out 
my plans for the garden on paper. Up until now, this has just been living in my head. So I wrote it out and then did a little bit of tweaking here and there. So in the two existing beds, we're gonna do tomatoes and hot peppers. These I'm gonna start in um, the little seed pods indoors and then transfer. Um, but today I'm gonna plant marigolds down the middle. Those are supposed to be really helpful with pests. And we had a lot of pest problems with our tomatoes. So I think this will be good companion planting. Also cilantro is supposed to be a good companion plant for hot peppers and tomatoes. So I'm gonna put some in the front. And I do cook with cilantro pretty frequently. So I feel like that's a good thing for me to grow. And then second bed, it's gonna be sunflowers and zucchini. These I'm gonna plant in ground today. I say today, but it will maybe today, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> this weekend um, with some marigolds in the front. And then the two new beds that we're gonna add. I'm really excited about this plan. In the first one, um, not sure what I'm gonna plant yet, but it won't be anything seed started. I'll plant directly, thinking maybe cantaloupe, watermelon, sweet potato. And then in this bed, we're gonna do a butterfly garden. We're gonna do cosmos in the front and back and native milkweed in the middle. I've always wanted to do a butterfly garden and Grace loves butterflies. So if it does attract butterflies, I feel like that'll be really cool. And even if it doesn't, it'll be really pretty. <laughs> um, and then also for my pots, gonna do half of them with bell peppers and then uh, two hot peppers, two tomatoes. And I gotta figure out what I wanna do with the co-planting. But that's a decision for later because I won't be uh, doing this until these seeds have been planted in here and grown enough that we can transfer them into the pots. <laughs> I am just having so much fun with this. Oh my gosh. Also, um, this app, cannot recommend it enough if you're wanting to get into gardening. It's called From Seed to Spoon and it has lots of helpful information in there. Um, but what I'm currently using it for is uh, figuring out the best companion plants. So I've got it pulled up to zucchini. These are all the good things to plant alongside zucchini. So it's been really great. It's packed full with tons of information. And then also um, I found this resource in a Facebook group with like specific specific information for gardening in San Diego of like the best crops, planting windows, all that stuff, different regions. So I'll link the Seed to Spoon app in the description and I'll also link this one just in case anyone else is living in San Diego and gardening. Very helpful. You guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, you know, we actually, we do have some some unfinished business to attend to though. We've got to name all these plants. Last year, uh, if you watched the gardening vlogs, I named every single one of the little seed pods. Steven and I did, we just like randomly spouted out like whatever name came to mind for the letter. Cause we like marked them as like A, B, C, D. And then I had you guys uh, help name the plants that I planted directly into the ground, like the zucchini. TBT to Zuck Efron. <laughs> Was the best one. Um, and I don't want to name my plants again, but I think this time I'm going to wait to name them until after these are ready to transfer because not all of them are going to make it and I don't want any good names to go to waste. <laughs> so leave your name suggestions in the comments for uh, the tomatoes, the hot peppers, the zucchini, and oh, and the bell peppers. Those ones too. And uh, you can help name my plants. It's, it's interactive content. <laughs> What a fun day. I'm excited for Grace to wake up. I wanna do the planting with her because like I, I want, I feel like it's an educational opportunity and a fun thing to do together. I want her to see like where it started and watch it grow. But we have friends coming over in like two hours. Our friends Shannon and Brandon are coming over for dinner and then just gonna hang out here for the evening. So I'm wondering, I'm kind of thinking, maybe I go outside now and I plant in the raised beds since like we have to be extra careful in that area anyways because of the fertilizer. I, I can't let her like touch the dirt and stuff. So maybe I go do that now and then when she wakes up, we can do the seed starting together. And then once the, the raised bed plants like start to, to sprout a little bit, I can take her out there and show her everything. I feel, yeah, you know what? I'm talking myself into it. That's what I'm gonna do. Steven was taking a nap, but I think he just woke up. So I'm gonna see if he wants to do the planting too. Cause he said he wants, he wants to do more of the gardening with me this year. I'm gonna do extra sunflowers uh, all along this wall here of the garden. I did that last year and only one of them took, but it was beautiful. The mistake I made last year though, is I didn't label where I planted. So I was just kind of watering sporadically. So this year I'm gonna label all my sunflowers, ah, <laughs> along with the vegetables. <laughs> Hmm. 
My gardening buddy is awake. And you've got your flamingo to oh. add to the garden. Let's bring oh. it in. We need to put these little labels into the dirt. You want to help me? You want to put that in? <gasps> Great job. <laughs> Good girl, Gracie. Do you want to do the cilantro? Okay. Can you stick that right here? Right there. Perfect. Very nice. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. So we're going to fill these little pods with dirt from these bags. And then we're going to put our seeds in. And in these pods, we're going to be planting three things. The spicy peppers. You're right. These ones we're going to save for later. Mm. The, the tomatoes. Mmm, that's oh. right. To eat. Mmm, mm, so yummy. And bell peppers. Mommy's gonna put the dirt in, okay? Gotta get lots of dirt in here. All right, you ready to put our eat. seeds in? Yes, we have to put our seeds in and then they'll grow into foods we can eat. Okay, what should we start with? Yeah. The peppers. Okay, you wanna come sit right here? Yeah. Other hand. Here's our little seeds. Oh, drop it in. Do you wanna put it in the hole? Sprinkle it in? Okay, come right over here. Go ahead and pick this one up, sweet pea. Very good, and put it right here. <gasps> Very good, you just planted. Would you like to do the next one? Yeah. Okay, so next should we do tomatoes or spicy peppers? Tomatoes. tomatoes. Okay, I sprinkle them in. All right, would you like to help? Can you hold on right here? Very good, Grace. We gardened, we Whoa. planted. Are you labeling them? All right, I'm gonna go put these in the window and every day we can check on them and eventually they'll become little plants. I had so much fun gardening with you. Mama. You wanna do one more? Well, that's all the gardening we have for today, but do you wanna pretend garden in your nursery? Okay. Our pretend carrots are already ripe. Let's pull them out of the ground. Now we're making a carrot smoothie. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, is there more? Thank you. Mmm. Smoothie, yes. Would you like a taste? Here you go. <laughs> I took a quick body shower and changed and uh, we're pretty much ready for our friends to come over. Steven's just getting ready now and then, yeah, they're gonna come here, Shannon and Brandon. And we're getting sweet green for dinner. Hello and good morning. It's the next day, it's Sunday. We are just getting ready to head over to my parents' house for the morning. We're gonna play some pickleball, which will be really fun. I love pickleball, I love my parents. And even better, Kenzie and TJ and their kids are coming. So the more the merrier. <laughs> Hello, hello, checking back in. Um, it is now a little after two o'clock. I'm getting some work done. Grace is napping. We just had such a fun morning and then really early afternoon too. We were there for a while. Um, but now I am reviewing the last vlog from Rachel since she cut that one. So I am watching it back, sending some notes. And then when I finish this, I'm gonna go downstairs and take a shower before Grace wakes up. Still all gross and sweaty from pickleball. I, oh my God, pickleball is just, it's just the best. It's so fun. It's like tennis, but with less running. No, you know what? It, I heard it explained once this way, and this is like the best, the best way I've heard it put. It's a cross between ping pong and tennis. Like the rules are more similar to ping pong, but then it's played on like closer to a tennis sized court, but just like shorter on both ends. It was so fun. We were getting, we were getting so into it. We were getting so competitive. And I'm loving the new racket that I got for Christmas. I, it's just so, it's so good. It's a good racket and it's also so cute. So it's good on, it's good on all sides. Um, but yeah, I need to go downstairs, shower, get changed. Oh, and we'll enjoy the rest of our Sunday. Okay, I ended up staying up here a lot longer than I planned. It is almost four o'clock, but luckily, Grace and I on the same page. She's been napping a lot longer than I thought she would. So I think I still have time to go down and take a shower, but I'm on borrowed time here. She could wake up at any second. <laughs> okay, success. I showered and right as I was getting dressed, Grace started to wake up. So perfect timing, I'm gonna go get her. Uh oh, we forgot to get baby out. Baby! All right, Grace and I are playing in the nursery and uh, we were talking about going to the beach for sunset. <gasps> What book do you have? Oh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Would you like to read this one? Yeah. You wanna press it? 
Good job. Then he got an idea. The Grinch laughed in his throat. Which one should baby press? Duh. Okay. Duh. You want to do it? You want to read it one more time? And then should we go to the beach? Happy. You're happy at the beach? Oh, I love that, Grace. I'm happy at the beach, too. All right, goodbye, Steven. We'll ah, see you. I love you. I'm staying here. I'm going to take a little moment to zen out a little bit. And then, uh, you want to say bye to Daddy? I'll take advantage of the uh, the quietness and get dinner started a little early. So. You want to say bye to Daddy? What do you have there? Can I pick you up? <laughs> Gracie, what do you have? Mermaid. Your mermaid, and what's this? Baby. Is that baby? <laughs> The sun just set. We had such a magical time at the beach. Yay! Yeah! Whoa! Oh, should I put them back on? Oh, thank you so much. Should I wear them like this? Bye! Oh, thank you so much. No, okay, down like this. And I'll be like that? <laughs> Hi! Hi! And I love that you love the beach just as much as I do. Night night. Yeah, we said night night to the sun. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Uh, we're gonna end it here. Pack up, go home, have dinner, have a nice chill Sunday evening, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.